Hi, this video is on using your graphing calculator with the TI-84 Plus to find the correlation coefficient R value with Pearson's. So when you're using your graphing calculator for the first time, you have to turn that diagnostics on. So you have to go to this blue second button and then the number zero, which pushes it to catalog. And then you're gonna scroll down to the D of diagnostic on. And you only need to do this one time um, to set up your calculator. All right, so go ahead and push the enter button and then one more time. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear that out now. And now we're ready to start entering in ordered pairs into our graphing calculator. So we're go ahead and push the stat button and edit, so that's already defaulted, go ahead and push enter. Now, I have some values in there already. I'm gonna go ahead and clear those out. So I'm gonna arrow up, clear, enter. I'm gonna arrow to the right, up, clear, enter. Now, we're going to be um, working with the example from a previous video where we had some ordered pairs where we had the um, beetles that were surviving and I gotta find that example. All right, here we go. Um, and the quantity of chemicals. So the first data set on the list is list one, which is your X variable, the quantity of chemicals. So go ahead and push the number two and enter, five, enter, six, you notice know, continue entering after each X value. All right, now we're gonna arrow to the right and enter in our Y variable, the number of surviving beetles. So 11. Six, four, six, and three. And now we're gonna go ahead and calculate. So we have to go back to our stat button. We're gonna arrow to the right, and we're gonna choose number four. And then continue entering until you get down to calculate, and then enter. What you're looking for is that R value. That's your Pearson's uh, value for negative 0.858. You can also graph that ordered pair set. You can push the, the graph. And what's going to happen is, is my graphing calculator is set up um, as a X and Y axis. You have to go ahead and go to second Y equals. And look at number one. Plot one is off. So I have to turn that on. So go to enter and then on and look at the graph type. It's going to be a scatter plot. The X variables list one, the Y variables list two. It's going to be marked with a little box, each ordered pair, and the color that I have is going to be blue. So now I go ahead and push graph again. So there are some of the data points. Now you might need to adjust your window because see some of these order pairs are not showing up. So I'm gonna to go to my window and I'm gonna change my X minimum so that I don't really have any negative X values, just to zero. I'm gonna go a little higher than my highest X value was nine. I'm just gonna to go to maybe 15, so it shows it a little bit bigger. And then each tick value is one unit. Now I don't have any uh, negative Y values, which are your surviving beetles. So I'm just gonna to go to zero. I'm gonna go a little higher again. I'm gonna go up to 15. All right, now I'll go ahead and graph. And you'll see those uh, scatter points on the graph. You can trace them. That would be the order pair 211. You can move it to the right, five, six, six, four, et cetera. So that's how you can use your graphing calculator to create a scatter plot along with finding that correlation coefficient value.